Hi everyone and welcome back to the Christmas headquarters with your host Arne and Carlos. This is the Arne and Carlos 2023 advent calendar and every day we pop in to your screen to say hello, check up on you and how you're doing, maybe make you relax a little bit, you know, take some time off whatever you're doing, sit down with your cup of tea yeah. and just enjoy a little time with us. We're also revealing uh, daily um, our mystery stocking along. Uh, which is going very well. Lots of people uh, seem to be enjoying themselves and uh, posting images and we are very excited and delighted to see what you're doing. And if you want to post your images, go ahead, do it on social media um, and tag us with uh, hashtag Arne Carlos. Yes. So yeah, we're revealing our stocking day by day, small increments of how many rounds are there? Six rounds. Yes. So it's very achievable and doesn't take very long to do, does no. it? No. Take... Three Dolly Parton songs. Three Dolly Parton songs. <laughs> or two. There you go. It that's, depends on. No, two Dolly Parton. That's Arne's way of measuring. <laughs> so three three Dolly Parton songs are about maybe what sixteen, eighteen minutes. How long they are? Yeah. So yeah, something like that. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, we love coming in every day. We love revealing a new part of the stocking, and uh, I think that we're gonna get into some hardcore pattern now. There will think. be a lot of not today but there will be uh, actually today can be a little bit tricky because i had to unravel mine two times mm -hmm. because it i i was listening to the music and i was talking to you and i tried to knit and i wasn't yeah. focused so yeah but if you are focused during the first round it's a walk in the park a walk in the park That's and you exactly lit the light what candles already you're in the i did yeah now. i i lit the candles uh, because you know I just lit the candles. <laughs> you should have lit the big one. Yeah, first I know. I'm, I'm freaking out about the little one because it's probably going to burn before uh, we're done with this advent calendar, which means we're going to have to play musical chairs with them. We can do that. And it's because we've forgotten it a couple of times. I mean, we've finished recording, turned the camera off, and then, you know, I mean, we've been here, but, and then Sully's like, oh, we forgot to turn it off. So, uh, luckily, we didn't go anywhere. Exactly, yeah. But you know what? If, if we have to run out, or if we do run out and have to do some musical chair with the candles, we promise we'll do them here on screen so that you can see yeah. how we cheat when, uh, when we can't <laughs> get the advent calendar or the advent candle holder to, to, to work the work. way it should. Yeah. And we have put out or pulled out the gifts. We talked about the gifts wrapped in Japan. Yeah. And they came like this. So yeah. nothing will break. And yeah. um, we have to show now um, we're wrapping them again. Yeah. So with Christmas. Second wrapping. Paper. Yeah. Japan. Paper. Japan has quite an um, interesting uh, gift culture. So uh, you need to give gifts uh, when you're in Japan and you are you can count on receiving gifts. So um, we always travel with uh, 25, 30 presents. Usually it's Norwegian chocolate that we wrap up. Yeah. You know, beautiful paper. I think people have met us a few times now. They know what they get. They know what they get. We should try yeah. to come up with something different. Yeah, but you know, it's all about the gift is symbolic. It's about not giving a very expensive gift because if you do, the balance is distorted. Yeah. Um, and food is a great thing to give in, in Japan because people live in smaller apartments. We get a lot of, of sweets. Lots of Japanese. But you know, lots of Japanese sweets are made exclusively for this well, because gift they're, market. They're nice. Yeah. Pan wrapping is nice. They're shaped very nice. Exactly. Yeah. So, so um, but we, we got this in, uh, where was it? In Hankyu in Osaka. In Osaka. Hankyu. Yeah. On our last day in Japan, we made sure it was in, in Osaka in Hankyu. So we could, well, in the hotel next to Hankyu. So we could go shopping. Um, and yeah, this took 40 minutes to wrap <laughs> and, uh, and then when it was finished, uh, well, actually they told me, no, they yeah. told you to 10 go. 10 minutes. They told me 10 minutes. But then I made Arne uh, get me a, a knife yeah. and then he had to wait for that one to be wrapped. And then you went back and then... And then uh, they said, it's not ready, but can you choose the ribbon size? So I chose this <laughs> size. It was the one that was But it was wasn't only bigger. that package, we also packed this one. There's yeah. one more here. Yeah. So, and now we, we, you have to wrap that around yeah. again so nothing happens. But this is another one. And now we start to wrap the gifts. Yeah, and that's also a gift uh, that we bought um, in Japan. So We're not we going to say anything about no. who it is for or what it is because it has to be a surprise. But we have three gifts ready now. Almost ready. Yeah. And I like to do this. 
This mm -hmm. is my thing. Which is the one thing you don't do in Japan. No, but in Norway we do. In, Nor in Norway we like curly uh, <laughs> ribbons. <laughs> uh, yep. And one more. We like to curl the ribbons in Norway and in Japan they don't curl the ribbons. I remember we, we did this once. You remember we, we, we wrapped chocolate yep. with ribbons like this and we made the curls. Yep. And when we came back, came um, to Japan, everything had moved yeah. around in the suitcase. And they had flattened. All the curls mm. were flat. Yeah. Just like my hair on a bad hair day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or mine on a normal day. <laughs> yeah. So now, now the plan is to make this into like a rosette. Yeah. If it's not big enough, you just take more. So we solved the problem in Japan, you know, when we go there very quickly with a new alternative. So instead of bringing this kind of ribbon, which we always use for Christmas, we have our own Arne and Carlos ribbon in fabric yeah. that we print or, or have woven. And then they just tie, we tie ribbons or like if it were shoes, yeah. like a, a regular, because that we don't curl it because it's fabric. No, and then people can collect them. And it works really it, or well. Or keep the, the ribbon if they want to. Yeah. But this is nice too. A little, little yeah. like a rosette. It works when you're not going to put it in a suitcase. No. Yeah. And I have to remember who's this for. Yeah. Well, I know. Yeah. You have to put on some... Maybe, maybe put a little letter A there. Yeah. You can do it later. Or something. But this is also well, A. Yeah, a. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> this is A. A. That this is A. a. But this is... Yeah, something. Something else. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if the people... Uh, we Maybe the people who, who get these gifts are watching. We don't know and we don't want... You know, we don't even want them to know that we've got gifts from Japan. So... Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I, like to, I like to do this. Yes. But we, we didn't come here to just wrap packages did we? No, 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 no. We are here to do uh, all sorts of things, but the main thing is to reveal um, this part or this, uh, this stocking. So we are in part 11 today. Yeah. So we're here to reveal part 11 of the stocking, which you then can go and download uh, on our website because it's free. Um, so go to arnecarlos.com slash blog. Blog. Yeah. Blog. And get it there, download it, and then you can knit your uh, part 11 as well. And the pattern will remain for free until December 26th, yep. after which it will become a paid pattern on our website. So we shall... Good done. Not the well done. Now we have to put them in the bag so Santa Claus can find them. Yeah, and then you're going to wrap this one later. I'm going to wrap that one later. And then we can show the... The reveal of today. Today's pattern. So we are back uh, to red and white. And this is what you get today. So what could it be? What That's could it be? Could so be far it looks anything. like arrows, right? An Maybe arrow to the uh, left, an arrow to the right, and one up. Maybe it's Cupid's arrows. Yeah, who knows? Or well, maybe no. there's a name there or something. Could be. Maybe that's a letter R. <laughs> You know what it is, Carla. I know what it is, but I'm just <laughs> creating some magic. Magic, Karen. Creating magic. some suspense. <laughs> and you're so good at it. Yeah, I'm so good, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I have to remember to go back. You don't want me to be too near the camera. No, I, I, yeah. I don't care. Anyway, well, you ca you, you, you've kept <laughs> talking about my hands. Yeah, but you're hiding behind your hands. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So that, that's the, the, the six rounds yeah. for today. Yeah, and I think the problem uh, today was that it's very asymmetric. So it kind of, it's easy to get off your count. Because it's not very symmetric, is it? No, it's, uh, it's uh, because it's uh, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, no. Three, That's what I mean. 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, mm -hmm. 3. And if you miss that... That's what I mean. It's not a very symmetrical pattern. No. Um, just go to our blog at arnicarlos.com, download the chart, and you'll see what we're talking yeah, about. But as soon as you have the first round, mm. it's easy. Anyway, it is fantastic how, how quickly we're going. I mean, uh, this is 11 clues, um, and there's still 13 to go. Yeah. So uh, by, clue, by, clue, uh, by clue 24, it'll probably be up here. 
So, something like that. So excited. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see how this turns out. <laughs> Although I know already. <laughs> Although you know. But it will be nice. It will, yes. So, and then we have the advent calendar 11. Mm -hmm. And now I think it's your turn to see what's in the it is? sweater. Take it out. Okay. Anna and PJ and Eric have put these in the sweater randomly. And uh, we don't know what they are until we read them. Okay. Oops. Wait. Oops. I broke it. Anyway. Yeah. How? How to sew together a brioche sweater. This is from Margaret Berryman, um, posted six months ago. Mm -hmm. Thank you both. As others have said, it looks possible to do. You make it look quite simple. I guess this was recorded as you've been away on your knitting cruise. But whatever the situation, thanks so much for such regular podcasts for your fan. So interesting, always. Love Freya and your gardens, dollhouse cooking episodes too. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, it was probably pre-recorded because we record... Everything we do is pre-recorded. Everything pre for Sundays is pre-recorded. Unless, uh, unless it says live. Yeah, unless it says live. L-I-V. Yeah. If it doesn't say live, it's pre-recorded. Yeah. Everything that we do has to be pre-recorded. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because of continuity. We need to know that we are able to publish an episode every week if we have promised to do so. Um, you know, what if we don't do it? What if there's a medical emergency and we can't, you mm. see? And you're right, so, like we travel, like we were probably on a cruise or something. Yeah. So we have to do it. And then Anna, Eric and PJ is coming here. Sometimes only Anna and Eric and we mm. film a few episodes. Yeah. And then we do the sit and knit and for a bit on the Sundays ourselves. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Also pre-recorded. Also pre-recorded. <laughs> yeah, only when it says live. Only and, when it says live. And yeah. lately we have only done lives uh, for our members. Yeah. On our membership yeah, channel. Where we give knitting help and we talk to our members and we kind of, you know, interact with them. Uh, we used to do sit in it for a bit live, but a lot of people prefer them pre-recorded because then they don't yeah, have to deal with us commenting. Yeah. People find it disturbing. Yeah. That we have to read comments all the time. Correct. So it's better to do it so pre-recorded. Yeah. And then the second one, how to knit a doll sweater for Blythe. This is the one that we did the free pattern. Yeah. So this is from Judith Strenio, 9552, six months ago. I love the look on Arne's face when you ask what this project has to do with cleaning. <laughs> Deer in the headlights. <laughs> anyway, I'm commenting to say I love doll knitting and dollhouse stuff even more. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. Yeah, we have this uh, ongoing question. What does the but what does it have to do with cleaning? It when is you do cleaning. Because? Because I have a lot of like, if there's one ball of yarn and it's just lying around, I make some, I make something mm. of the ball, and then it's cleaning. What about that huge bag of yarn you bought in Japan for the dolls? Is that? No, that's. Uh, that's not cleaning. No, then. that's a new project. Okay. But maybe it has to be cleaned one day. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, doesn't make any sense, <laughs> no. but I'm sure it does in your head. In my head, it sounds perfect. But like the doll dress I'm making now, that is just pieces of scraps that's been lying around forever. Mm. And, <laughs> and now I turn them into yeah. beautiful garments. Yeah, and so you do. You will see. Yeah. So that's cleaning. Yeah. Okay. In, in my opinion <laughs> if you say so <laughs> oh, I, I do a lot of cleaning now before christmas yeah yeah i wish you'd clean the uh the big house but we can do that in the summer it's yeah. too cold right now <laughs> you can go and do it no 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 i mean that's what i mean it's too cold right now most of the stuff there is yours though about 99 percent yeah yeah <laughs> good <You>. stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah and all the bad stuff is mine <laughs> no <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think that we've had enough for today. Um, oh. And we do have this competition running. We and have. It's very exciting, isn't it? It is. The competition this year is split in two. We have one competition going from the 1st of December to the 12th of December. And then we will launch another competition on the 13th of December. And it goes until the 24th of December. So two completely separate competitions. That means that on December 13th, which is La Santa Lucia, we will press stop 
and we will start again. Yeah. And uh, in order to become eligible for the competitions, you need to answer a question. It will be two different questions. And you are eligible to win two completely different prices. I can't wait to tell you what the prices are, but we're only going to tell you the prices for the first competition right now. And you have to wait until December 13th to find out the second price. Yeah. And what's the question, Carlos? The question is, uh, for the first 12 days of Christmas, is when was Arne and Carlos founded? We're looking for the year. Which year was Arne and Carlos founded? The answer may possibly be available on our website. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Or on, you know, somewhere else. And Arne, tell everybody what they're eligible to win. You can win all the yarn you need for one sweater from Hillesvåg Ulvar Fabric in Norway. That's our Norwegian favorite. Yes, absolutely. You will be able to choose enough yarn to knit yourself a sweater. Any sweater that you want. We're not going to give you the pattern, but we're going to give you the yarn. You can choose all between all the qualities that they have, and you can even choose from their humongous color chart or color card. It's going to be a really beautiful sweater of your choice in the color of your choice. So this is a really nice price. We're talking minimum 10, 100 gram skeins of yarn. That's one kilo of yarn. Now the answer to the question uh, is something you can write down on the comments below. And uh, in the end of the advent calendar, uh, probably in the new year, we will randomly select a lucky winner from December 1st until December 12th who is eligible to win the prize or who will win the prize. It's only one prize. Yeah. Uh, and then um, starting December 13th, we will do a new competition, a new question and a new prize. And it's completely different to this prize. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss that prize either because no. it's also amazing. So that's it for now. And if you like our videos, put your thumbs up and be a subscriber and put on the notifications if you're a subscriber, because then you won't miss the episode. Yes, and the mailing list is really the best way to stay in touch with us and keep up with our shenanigans. And if you want additional content, uh, please consider becoming a member. You can do so by going to our YouTube channel, looking for the subscribe button, and then clicking on the button next to it, which is the join button. If you become a YouTube member of the Arne and Carlos family, you will receive um, lots of perks and benefits, including uh, live streams where we give you our knitting help, there are monthly shenanigans and cooking episodes. There are weekly 15-minute updates, uh, usually in the beginning of the week. And lots and lots of fun, including emojis and other things that you really don't want to live without. <laughs> so, thank you for watching and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye! Bye.